morning, gentlemen. Um, this is my first stakeout, so perhaps I can introduce myself. I'm Mark Lyle Grant. I'm the new British permanent representative uh, and ambassador to the UN, and it's very nice to uh, meet you all here. I just wanted to say a word about what we've just been doing in the Security Council. Um, we have heard a disappointing report from Ambassador Takasu, who is the chair of the 1737 Sanctions Committee. And this report set out a pattern of violations by Iran of Security Council resolutions, including the illegal export, two illegal exports of shipments of arms from Iran in direct contradiction of Resolution 1747. And if you add this together with the continued in uranium enrichment activities of Iran in violation of Security Council resolutions, of Iran's failure to answer questions to the IEA about its weaponization activities, the revelation of a secret enrichment site at Qom, and Iran's rejection of the offer over the Taiwan nuclear research reactor, then I think you can see that there is clearly this pattern of violations of international obligations and an unwillingness of Iran to negotiate seriously with the international community over the nuclear issue. The E3 plus 3 are committed 100 percent to a diplomatic solution to the Iranian nuclear issue. But patience is running out. And as ministers make their assessment at the end of this year, if there is no change of approach by Iran and no clear indication of a willingness to negotiate on the basis of the very generous offer that has been put to them by the E3 plus 3, then clearly the Security Council will need to look again at further sanctions against Iran in the new year. What we've agreed, and ministers will be discussing this again uh, over the next uh, few days between the E3 plus 3, is that there should be an assessment at the end of the year. Now, if that assessment is negative, then I would expect there to be a return to discussion of further sanctions in the Security Council at the beginning of the new year. Mr. Ambassador, can I follow up on an uh, earlier question? Uh, the Ambassador of France said that because Israel is not a member of the MBT, you cannot hold it responsible. So what if Iran also pulls out of the MBT? Is that an option for countries? If you're not in the MBT, you can do whatever you want to do? Uh, there are, of course, uh, different uh, obligations for member states of the NPT, but it's unprecedented for countries to pull out of the NPT, and that would be a sign that Iran has decided to turn its back on the international community and clearly pursue a nuclear weapons program. That would be a very negative step and would be seen as such by the international community. Well, what about Israel, sir? I mean, what about Israel and the, what the Libyan ambassador said is double standards by the Council of not even asking it to join the NPT or open its installations for inspections? Uh, the United Kingdom has made clear that we want all countries to join the NPT, and that includes uh, the nuclear weapon states that are currently outside the NPT. Our position has been very consistent on that. And these issues will be looked at in the context of the NPT review conference in the course of next year. But that shouldn't divert our attention from the real and immediate threat of proliferation, both in North Korea and in Iran. And that is an issue which we need to tackle now. Is there a concern that Iran will pull out of the uh, treaty if there is more pressure applied to it? There's talk of that in Iran. Is that something that's being considered uh, as the Council weighs sanctions or moves to weigh sanctions? Well, that would be obviously a decision by the Iranian government, and it's not for us to, to comment on that. It would be an extremely negative mood. But uh, the international community is not going to be blackmailed by Iran by them threatening to pull out of the NPT in order to try and prevent further sanctions. You talk about further sanctions, but what exactly is on the table? It seems like there's been several rounds of sanctions against Iran. What else could be added? Well, there are a range of measures. I don't want to speculate now about what measures will be discussed. Um, but clearly, that will be for negotiation between the different council members. By, by this uh, policy of penalizing Iran when it is an MPT member and other states who have nuclear weapons are not even mentioned here in the Security Council, aren't you... Are, uh, encouraging Iran to pursue the same track, I mean, ignoring the, uh, your demands? Uh, Iran is a uh, member of the Non-Proliferation Treaty and has to abide by those obligations. 
Um, if Iran were to decide to pull out of the NPT, then that would be an extremely negative signal, which the international community would take into account. And it would just reinforce, reinforce the suspicions and concerns that the international community has about the intentions of the Iranian government.